Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes, we are a little bit behind, but that's okay. We have tons of new videos coming for you guys, so you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys can get updated of the newest videos coming up. As well as for those of you guys returning, welcome my lovelies. Let's get into your reading. Uh, Sagittarius, I do want to let you guys know for those of you guys that uh, purchase on our online store, we have a lot of restock. A lot of your favorite soaps, candles, oils, they are back on stock. Uh, you'll be able to find all of that on our store. Link is in the description box below as well as at the end of every video. We have specific candles depending on the specific workings that you're wanting to do. They are ritualized, prepared through ceremonial rites to empower and strengthen the candle and the work. All you really have to do is just light the candles and the oils, like I said, and the soap lines. A lot of your favorites are back on stock. So without further ado, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that follow my social medias, be careful, you guys. There's tons of scammers out there. I've been getting nonstop messages from you guys, letting me know fake accounts that are reaching out to you guys, claiming if you're wanting a reading and wanting to charge and then not providing those services, all under the impersonation of me trying to come off or play it off as their pinky doll. They're not. If you want to follow any of our online, um, any of our social medias, the descriptions are in uh, in the link below. You'll be able to find that those are my official uh, social media sites. So without further ado, like I said, let's get into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what can you guys expect for this month of March 2022, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirits, what are the messages for Sagittarius? Give us uh, communication with the element of air. Give us finances and career, element of earth. The challenge for this month, fire element and uh, relationships and partnerships, element of water, and the general energy for this month, spirits. Message, please. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, 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 oh. We got cards flying out. All right, let's get into it. First card here is the nine of swords. So you're feeling a little bit stuck, feeling a little bit restless. Uh, for some of you guys, it just may be that you're currently experiencing a bit of frustration in regards to a, spe a specific situation where you feel like things are not progressing as quickly as you would want, or for others of you trying to deliberate uh, whether to make a move, whether to stay, or whether to actually pull away from some type of connection, relationship, or circumstance. Um, because you do have the Six of Wands here in communication, I feel like you're overthinking right now, Sagittarius. You're a little bit too much in your head. Try the best you can to step away from the situation so that you can get a better perspective, a more clear perspective. Communication sex of wands is definitely being reciprocated or your energy being received very well. Uh, being confident is what they're telling you for this month, Sagittarius. Don't hesitate. When you need to step up, when you need to speak up, stand your ground uh, and be very um very strong in that. Don't allow people to manipulate situations to make you feel um, like what I'm feeling right now is like uh, guilt tripping you. So again, um, try to see past that. Try to step away from the situation so that you can better analyze um, what's really going on here. Now, in regards to your finances and career, we do have the five of cups. So there is uh, a bit of an expense that may be coming up for you guys in this month of March. Uh, you can experience this sometime in April as well uh, if you don't see it happen right off the bat for this month. Um, Five of Cups does indicate taking a loss. So if you've been or thinking of investing or putting your money somewhere um, or even investing in a friend, in a group, um, or anything that has to do with the material aspect, what they're telling you is hold back a little bit for this month. Uh, be a little bit more methodical in the way you spend your money. My advice is the month of March for you guys. Um, there is almost like a overcoming of an obstacle for some of you guys. This could be unexpected money that comes in. Of course, we all know tax season is here, right? So for some of you guys, this could be that you're waiting on that check. But again, five of cups does indicate just as it comes in, it goes out. So again, be smart about spending your money or where you're investing your money, Sagittarius. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here, we have the Princess of Wands. 
Um, so there is definitely for some of you guys dealing with the situation of um, missing or wanting to reach out to someone. Um, because this is coming up as a challenge, what they're telling you is um, try the best you can not to go towards um, not trying to make things forcefully happen. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this month of March is going to be about um, using your head, making decisions with a cool head instead of uh, taking actions based on your emotions. Uh, Princess of Wands does indicate it's the representation of the Page of Wands. So uh, communication may be coming in for some of you guys. Communication in regards to a past loved one or someone that you're wanting to hear from. Uh, there could have been a falling out or something like that um, where communication happens this month. Again, don't be quick if there was some type of separation or some type of falling out in regards to your partner or the person you've been dealing with. My advice is don't rush into this relationship or don't rush into let's pretend you didn't step away, let's pretend you didn't walk away from me, and let's try to go back with each other. What they're telling you here is take your time um, allowing them to come back into your heart or to come back into your life. Why? Five of Cups is here. So again, you don't want to open yourself up only to be let down again. Now, when we're talking about relationships, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is your energy, Sagittarius. So again, it's about being confident. More than confident, I feel like for you guys this month, it's going to be about sticking to, sticking to your word or sticking to your boundaries or, you know, like I said, standing your ground on a situation that... Um, in the past, perhaps you were giving or have been giving the person of your interest or your partner the upper hand, and it's allowed them to think that they're able to take you for granted or that they're able to um, manipulate the situation. So what they're telling you here is be empowered this month, Sagittarius. Don't allow people to manipulate you. Don't allow people to guilt trip you. It's about learning to be selfish in the most positive way for your uh, self-care and self-love. So I hope that this gives you guys insight. I hope it gives you some type of um, guidance for this month of March. I want to wish you guys the very best. Until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.